You guys probably think I am the biggest idiot in the world. I ended off last episode without going back to Chuta Tango to get the last bottle. Um, I am so sorry about this, guys. I totally forgot. I... <laughs> it's funny, because this is still all in one recording session. But somehow I missed a bottle in this and totally forgot to go pick it back up. At the end of the episode. I, instead, I ended off the episode without getting it. So sorry about this, guys. Um... I'm a ditz in the morning, because I'm recording this in the morning. This is the only time I really can record it, because um, my brother's at school, my mom's at work in the mornings on weekdays, so this is really the only time I can, like, do this without, um, without, like, anybody missing me, kind of thing. Um, because I, when I'm on break, my brother wants to hang out with me and stuff, so... So, crap. So, jump. So, yeah. Um. So yeah, I kind of, I kind of want to like do it while he's not here, so that way I'm not like uh, making it so he can't see me. Um, there's the last bottle, as you can see. It's behind a chimney. That I missed somehow, and I almost got shot there. Oh my god, really? Jump towards the roof, not off of it. Alright, well, that's the last bottle there. Um. But yeah, that, that, so... I, I can't believe I actually did that. I went through that... I, I literally ended off that episode without ever getting the last bottle here. I am kicking myself about that. That's ridiculous. I'm usually pretty good about that kind of thing. I guess not. Five. Three, two. I'm really sorry for that, guys. I'm tired in the morning. Being tired makes me lose you found the blue all thoughts. With these files, I'll be able to help you find all his clues and breakables. Just look for your binoculum to get the information. Uh, I can't believe I actually didn't do that. Um, well, anyways, I am the big old Lou, in case you couldn't tell already. I don't know if I introduced myself, but I'm gonna screw it. I'm gonna introduce myself again. I am the Big Walu, and we are playing Sly Cooper. This is episode 7. 8. It's 8, Brian. It's not 7. This is episode 8. Because apparently now I can't count either. Seriously, this is the same recording session. I can't remember what episode it is. I am so tired in the morning. I'm not, I'm not tired in the morning. I'm so scatterbrained in the morning. I don't think straight. Then I don't usually... Well, no, I, I think straight. A lot. A couple of times. Maybe. A little bit. Um. But yeah, um. <laughs> uh, I, I just can't... I, I still can't believe I didn't do that. It's one of those things that's like... How could you have not... How could you have forgotten that? You said it, like, two, two minutes before you actually got through the level. So I, I still don't understand how I could have missed it. Well, whatever. Um, we're at the end of the level. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna hunt us down, I know. Yes, you're gonna hunt us down. I don't care, don't care, don't care. Back to Mugshot's turf. We got the safe. Not that we needed those blueprints anyways. Okay, so now we're gonna... I'm gonna make up to you, this is gonna be a little bit of a longer episode. We'll actually take on the boss in this episode, I think. Uh, let's go and do Back Alley Heist. I think this is Back Alley Heist. Yeah, Back Alley Heist! Let's go to the alleyways! And let's not forget the actual safe this time. Break the window. Okay. 
Um, yeah. Here we go. Um, yes. <laughs> Not much to talk about. This is the same recording session as always. So, I gotta learn to spread out these recording sessions a little bit better. Because. I've literally got nothing to talk about because everything I've talked about I've talked about in, in the previous episodes and the previous episodes are in the same recording session as this so everything's about the same I can't really say anything else um yeah I don't know the biggest the biggest thing about this game the only the re only main issue that I like that I don't like about this game is the one life thing and I know what you're saying like yeah it's I, I know I might be complaining a little bit here it's harder and I know everyone's gonna be like well games are supposed to be hard yeah well it, it's true but I I'm not a big fan of hard games like XCOM yes I am because XCOM is so much fun and XCOM without the hard difficulty is is boring. And I like hard games from time to time, but sometimes I, a lot of the time I just want to play something that's fun to play. Not because it's hard or challenging, but because it's just nice. It's just a good game, and this is one of those. And it's definitely a lot harder with this uh, one with this like one hit is equals one life deal. Which I guess is more realistic to life, because, um, you get hit once with that wrecking ball, you're gonna die. Or with, like, a gun or something. Then again, the depends where you're hit. Ah, uh, game over! Come on. And I'll give you guys a longer episode, because I, <laughs> I feel really bad for not doing that in the last episode. Holy crap. Um... Yeah, so for the two of you watching who knew, who, who figured that out before I did, um, yeah, I'm gonna give you guys, I'm gonna give you two people a longer video because I'm an idiot. Uh, well, it's gonna be a longer video anyways if I don't kill these guys. Uh, whatever. Actually, no, not whatever. Actually, there's no point in going up there, because I already got the bottles. Durr. Ugh, whatever. Okay. I don't need to kill you. I don't need to kill you. Knocking off some bulldog heads. We're defiling public property! And we don't care! I'm only going back here because I'm not sure if there's like a bottle or something back here. No, there isn't. Okay, whatever. Just wanted to make sure it's better to double check than to be, than to go and miss one bottle because you didn't check something. Because believe me, that's happened to me a lot in this in this LP. Yeah, I just absolutely love this game. It, it, it gives you something that normal platformers don't. It's like a stealth aspect to it. And, and idiot, I just did that aspect. Seriously, I'm not that bad at this game. I swear. I may look like it, but I'm actually not. Just because I'm recording. If you guys were here in person and I was not recording, you guys would think I was pretty awesome at this game. Oh, I could have done that. Whatever. Alright, this part is a little bit tricky. Because you gotta hit all the bottles. And these things don't come back! And I missed it, of course. Of course, I missed it. Damn it! Kill me, kill me. Kill me. Come on, kill me. Fine. Kill me. Thank you. I don't want to have to go back to this level because then I might forget like I did last time.
Um, yeah, I'm hoping that, like, maybe I could do, like, a little Let's Play of XCOM uh, when I can figure out how to record my Xbox because uh, it's wired into the wall, so I can't really unhook it. Um, I'm hoping to be able to do that. Maybe I can get, get some, like, Borderlands going as well. You know, all that stuff. Because that would be fun, I think. Let me know if you guys want to see that, and I'll, I'll, I'll take a look at trying to get a new Xbox or something to uh, record with. If you guys would like to see that. I want to do a lot of things with this channel. Oh, shoot. Oh, I remember. This one has, like, the bottle that's, like, right there. Right, right, right. Alright, so that's 30 out of 30. Let's see what we got for this one. I know Bentley. I could have broken this code in my sleep. The combination is five, six, five. And five. There we go. <laughs> Hang on a second, guys. Oh, yeah. Notes pertaining to water safety. With this knowledge under your belt, you won't have to waste a charm whenever you fall into water. Sorry about that. Uh, my mom came home and uh, she's looking for me, so I was trying to do stuff. Anyways, um, so, so what did we get there? We got. I totally missed that. What did we get? I'll cover it in the next episode because I don't remember what we got. Alright, so there's the sixth treasure key. Yeah. Need one more. To finish this up. Whoa. Where are we going? Um, oh, okay. I was like, how do, how do you get over there? That makes no sense. How, how do you get over there? And there's a little pad right there that you can jump on. That makes more sense. Alright, straight to the top. This one is another one of those widespread levels where you gotta get all the, where all the bottles are like kind of spread out and I died. There should be a counter for this this game. How many times I die in like the first few seconds of a level? It's probably about five at this point. <laughs> Cause it's like every single level I'm just like, oh well I died. Bye car. So um for some reason the cutscene didn't activate. Oh, maybe I can get the cutscene to activate. Hello. There we go. Forget it. Your cane will never smash that thick glass. You'll need something super heavy, like that big wrecky ball up there. Alright, cool. So yeah, that's the whole point. That's why we're going up these neon tubes. Uh, so we can get to the top, so we can get to the wrecking ball and smash that glass. Oh wait, um, before I do anything. I'm just gonna explore around here because you never know when there might be bottles uh, lurking about. Because this is another 40 bottle level where everything's hidden. Uh, this is probably one of the most extensive levels where everything's spread out so much and you can miss a lot of the bottles here. So, <clears throat> just be aware of that when you're playing this because that can happen. You can, you can go through this and you can miss quite a few bottles. There we go, we're going up on these uh, neon tubes that spell Mugshot. He's got a little bit of an ego, doesn't he? Yeah, he's got a little bit of an ego. At least he's modest. Her, her, her. Uh, okay, so... A lot of the bottles are going to be here on these like cars that just fall. 
Um, actually, no, not a lot of them. A few of them. A lot of them are just going to be scattered out through the level. No. I hate those bulldogs. Those things are ridiculous. They charge at you. You had no time to swing your cane at them. So we're halfway there to, we're halfway uh, through this level, bottle-wise. So let's jump up on the S. Get to the H. The S to the H. To the O to the T. Mugshot for the win. He is one of my favorite um, bosses in this game. Uh, and you'll see why fairly soon. Actually, I don't think I don't know I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to take him down because sometimes he can be a bit of a problem I think I'm just gonna end it off after this level sorry guys but um, due to the circumstances and how did I die how did I die Provides endless entertainment for you because you get to see me fail at this game. Alright, let's find the rest of these bottles and not get killed by this guy. We still need 18 more. 16 more. Uh, I, hope I, I hope I didn't miss any. Actually, right here, we were gonna hear uh, why I like Mugshot. That's where I get my Joik reference, because Mugshot does that all the time, and I absolutely love Mugshot. He is awesome. Oh, I'm missing 14! I'm missing 13! Where am I missing 13? Well, I'm gonna bet on this wrecking ball and make it go everything but where the heck are the other 13 that I missed what oh my god guess I'll have to go find them Well, I guess I can't go find him. Alright. I'm just gonna find him in the next episode. Yeah, there's the seventh treasure key. At this point, you can go fight Mugshot if you want, if you're following along, but if you want uh, to know where the bottles are, I will do that in the next episode. Sorry, guys. But there's no way I can search for all 13 of those right now. So, next episode, we will be getting those and then fighting Mugshot. See you guys then.